This is me dancing to the Pippi Longstocking theme song that the kids are watching in the playroom. Can you hear it? <laughs> it's the old one. I am going to be dedicating this video to Anna, who I met the other day. Hi, Anna. Because you inspired me to actually record this. I have not felt up to recording at all. And I saw her, and she just really brought a little light into my evening and it's carried on into the next day. Ryan and I were planning on purging and reorganizing our entire kitchen because we are totally being cliche and jumping on the new year, new health kick bandwagon. We are gonna keep some things for the kids, but we do wanna get rid of anything that's gonna be too much of a temptation for us to snack and steal from the kids' stash as we're doing this like no sugar, no processed food restart. I feel like showing you everything that's in its cupboards is like showing you unmentionables or something. Like, this is a deeper level of intimacy that you and I are sharing right now. Then once everything is splayed out there, ooh, intimacy and splayed. Not sure if I feel comfortable with that being in the same couple of sentences. We'll show you what we're gonna keep and what we're gonna let go of. For those who are wondering where the food is going, the opened items are going to be donated to other moms for a Facebook group that I am in, or to my sister wives, or to our community group, or our church works with a halfway house that might take some of the foods as well, and then unopened items will all be donated to the food bank. Anybody else doing the cliche New Year thing with me? Getting healthy? Tell me below, tell me what your goals are, tell me what your motivation is, and tell me how you're doing it. I think you guys have seen my growing motivation through the videos that I've been putting up on YouTube. The muffin top -a the chin double leveling, that, that's my motivation. Let's do it. It's all coming out. Everything that's in here is coming out. It's like our kitchen's gonna throw up and then we have to clean it up. That's a weird thing that we signed up for. Come on, Ryan, let's do it. Okay. Goodbye, leftover <laughs> Christmas treats. Farewell. down. This is where we keep all of the candy stashed up high where the kids can't get it. It's a deep cabinet. I don't even know what's back there. Let's find out. This is definitely the cupboard where candy comes to die. I have no idea how many Christmases this guy's seen. Oh. Every inch taken up. This is everything that our cupboards, this little pantry, and our big pantry back here contained. So now we sort through it and see what we keep and what goes. This is how you know you haven't cleaned out your cupboards in a while. I bet we have more too. The idea to start here is for 60 days we're gonna go sugar-free and low carb. So hopefully we'll stick to it and then we'll adjust to a more rounded diet. There's always products that surprise you. I got these fried onions from Trader Joe's because I was going to do a classic green bean casserole. No sugar, only three carbs. Doesn't mean they're healthy, but it did surprise me. These are interesting ones. This one, the third ingredient is sugar after dried onion and toasted onion. The third ingredient is sugar, yet in the nutrition facts, it says zero grams of sugar. I assume that's because the serving size is so small. I don't know. Eventually it's gotta have sugar in it if it's the third ingredient. This Simply Organics one, however, has no sugar and no sugar in the ingredients. Apple cider vinegar. Okay. Ah, 
we're done. We'll show you the table of bad, everything to be donated and purge from this home, and then I will take you around what's left. It's not much. Everything that's going. I would have kept these if the kids liked them, but they don't. So then I would have just ate them out of guilt for not wanting them to be wasted. So we will donate them. Pancake mixes. I'm just gonna do my protein pancakes because my kids like it. And Christmas chocolate, a whole basket of crap. Ryan made the rule that any cereal more than five grams of sugar had to go. So these are the cereals that did not make the cut. And the kids don't even like this one. It was just our cereal. Pastas, icing, sprinkles, cake mixes. I thought about keeping these in case I need to bring a cake somewhere. I might still do that because that's not something I'm just gonna be tempted by and have enough energy to go whip up a cake. Pumpkin bread, I think I will bring this to our community group. We got rid of all canola oil and vegetable oil. We are keeping um, healthier oil options instead. Vegetable oil is just soy. If you look on the back of any vegetable oil, you see that it says soybean oil. It's not good for you the way that this stuff is processed. So getting rid of that. I actually had this on hand for making the lava lamps from Luca's birthday. I bought this because it was in a dessert recipe that I needed and I think I needed like half of a teaspoon and this was the smallest size bottle I could find. So it's gonna go. Maybe there's a baker that will take it off my hands. This is another thing I would keep on hand for the kids but it's too tempting for us. It's such a quick easy thing to eat and get full on so I'm getting rid of it for this first two months. Lots of different chips and crisps and things. Crackers, candied nuts. I had these on hand for making crusts for different cheesecakes and pies and things. It's all carbs and sugar. Carbs and sugar is the general gist of this entire table. Now let's see what we kept. Remember some of the things we're keeping on hand just for the kids. So these are the two cereals that made it. Look at how empty this is. It used to be totally stuffed. We're gonna keep all of our paper towels up there. We just have to load it up. So we've got cream of wheat, pancake mix, Ryan kept one of them, two cereals, and some oats. Canned goods, anything with sugar had to go. The rest got to stay. There were some surprising things to me in here, like this tomato lentil soup. I would assume that tomato soups usually have a lot of sugar in them to fight the acidity of the tomatoes, but no sugar. We really just went on sugar for what to get rid of in here, and this I wasn't sure of. Um, I assume there's no way it can really be healthy for you, but it has less than one gram of sugar and only 13 carbs. I mean, I know that's considered high for one product for some people. I don't know, I just tossed it back in here because we don't eat it that often. I definitely won't need to eat it in the next two months, so somebody tell me, what do you know about refried beans? Our spice drawer just got cleaned out when we looked at like expiration dates and things, but we also had a couple of spices that had brown sugar in them and that surprised me. So those went. And now I have it all organized. These are like typical American spices. I've got Indian spices, seasoning salts back here, and this is like more sweet or baking spices. Cinnamon, cardamom, things like that. And lovely sweet cumin. Everybody loves a little cumin in their baked goods. Also the dip packets that were low sugar, low carb are stacked there. This is our bread basket, kind of our carb basket. Raisin breads for the kids. We've got whole wheat pasta. There's um, low carb wraps on the bottom. Great seed bread. Bun thins. High fiber low carb wraps. None of this tempts me at all. I'm really not a huge bread eater. I just like it as like the edible plate for whatever I'm putting on top of it. So I just gotta find a different edible plate. Unless it's like a crusty loaf that you rip apart like some sort of savage and dip into oil and balsamic or toasted garlic. I'm not gonna get that idea out of my mind for the next two months now. So now this is my baking cabinet and I do still have a couple of box sweets back here like boxed sugar cookies, I'll show you. I know that I'm not going to, on a whim, in the middle of the night, get up and make a cookie recipe. So I got rid of things that are like a chocolate that I might just pop into my mouth because it takes absolutely no prep. And the couple of things that you need to prepare, they were allowed to stay. And then your typical baking supplies. Next up is all oils and the apple cider vinegar that I took a shot of. And next up is just platters. This guy used to be our up high snack cupboard that the kids were supposed to ask before they grabbed anything out of. It used to just spill out with chips and bars and crackers and all kinds of things. So this is what is left now. We have a cracker basket. So instead of having 90 million different types of chips and crackers, this is all that's left. Organic duckies, which are basically uh, like the goldfish crackers, the organic Costco version. And then the sweet potato crackers and the 12 grain crackers from Trader Joe's, which are kind of like little mini 
whole wheat Ritz. Fruit leathers, these are like granola bars that don't have any nuts in them so that Luca can have them. Protein bars, and then this is all baby treats for her to feel like she's a part of the snacking community. And then lastly, the laundry. And usually it is stuffed full. We have now narrowed it down to just these few bits. So up here we have vitamins. This is funny, because I know everybody's gonna think I'm pregnant. I promise, promise that I'm not. And people saw this in my kitchen tour and were like, oh, sneaky Marie, you were pregnant. I, if I was, I didn't know. And I'm assuming you guys know your timelines better than I did. I did not know yet that I was pregnant. Um, that's when Louise was here, when I filmed that, and she didn't know I was pregnant. I would have told her when she was here. So we just have um, probiotics and kid vitamins and things like that up here. Ryan's really gotten into our gut health, so we even have prebiotic. Artichoke hearts, healthy mayos, chicken broth. More healthy oils. I really like this from Costco, the Sun Cocoa Oil. It's a blend and it has a high heat point, high smoke point. One box of pasta. I got rid of the rest. I felt like I should just keep one. I was really surprised that this is very, very low carb and low sugar. So we kept it. Nutritional yeast, I have no idea how to even consume this, but I have it, and then I let the breadcrumbs live. That is it for the pantry and cupboard clean out. We still need to do our freezer and our fridge. Should that be another video? Or maybe I'll just do an Instagram picture of what we're keeping and what we're letting go, or an Insta story. I'll do it that way. So follow me on Instagram or Insta stories and I will show you what we are freeing ourselves of there. I think what the next video should be is our healthy food haul and I think we'll do it as a shop with me we'll probably do um, Trader Joe's and Costco for that limit ourselves to those two stores so if you want to see that let me know I know everybody wants to see a bullet journal update so I'm trying to get on that I really want to do a Sadie update I don't know why I'm telling you my list of videos that I want to do now so I'll stop there for those of you that stuck to the end I feel like with this one especially for some reason you really need a reward maybe we'll bring it back to Anna who inspired me to turn on the camera today when I just wasn't feeling it tell me if you've ever met somebody who has inspired you to do something that you weren't otherwise planning on doing. Also, I want to hear about your New Year's resolutions or hopes or your New Year's word, anything that you're hoping for in 2018. Talk to me below. I've been gone a couple of weeks. I want to catch up with you. I'll be there commenting. I don't even remember how to say my thing at the end. Subscribe. Nope. How's it go? Thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit the notification and I'll see you next Monday. Did you really do those things though? You gotta really do those things. Bye.